Usahau kusubscribe, kucomment, kulike na kushare ili kuwa kwanza kupata habari mbali mbali kutoka Dayton for Media. Sisi kama Wakenya tumekuwa na siku hii ni siku ya Wakenya wanaoishi mbali na nyumbani. Tunawaita kwa kimombo diaspora na ambao wanaishi nchi ya Tanzania na hapa kwa kweli sisi kama jirani na pia ndugu tuna wakenya wengi ambao wanaishi katika nchi hii wanafanya kazi mbalimbali mbali. wengine wamekuja hapa manake jamaa zao wako hapa kwenye kazi kwa hiyo tukaona ni vizuri ni vema kila baada ya muda fulani tunakutana nao ili tuweze kuwajulia hali na tuweze kujuliana hali pamoja na hayo tuweze kuwaeleza huduma ambazo sisi tunazitoa katika ubalozi wa Kenya. E, kuna huduma nyingi tu, kuna watu ambao pengine wanataka usajili wa mambo fulani, kuna watu ambao wanataka kufanya renewal za passport zao, kuna wale ambao wanataka documentation zifanyiwe udhibitisho. Na kwa hiyo sisi tunatoa zile huduma hapa na inakuwa ni vizuri fursa kama hii inapopatikana ili kuweza kuelimisha wananchi wetu ya, ku, ya huduma ambazo tunazo. Lakini kingine cha muhimu ni kwamba ni kujenga ule undugu na ule ukenya na uzalendo manake watu wanapoishi mara nyingi mbali na nyumbani wanapata saa zingine kama ni watoto wanazaliwa desturi na utamaduni hawaujui na sisi katika hamasa hii ya kuwaleta wakenya pamoja inakuwa misingi yake ni kwamba tujenge ule uzalendo tujenge ule waweze kuwajua wakenya wenzao ndugu zao na wajue na wengine na wajue kinachojivunia sisi kama wakenya na wakati tunasema mimi ni mkenya ukenya huu unamaanisha nini desturi zetu ni gani maadili yetu ni gani na kama tunavyosema wa Afrika mtoto halelewi na mzazi peke yake analelewa na jamii nzima na kijiji kizima kwa hivyo sisi tunakuwa ndo kama ile jamii hapa ndio kijiji hapa kwa hivyo wakituona sisi tunawapa basi eh, Niwaambie tuna wanafanya wanakuwa na inspiration ya kwamba ndio wana ndugu zao na wanakuwa na aspiration ya kwamba nchi yao na serikali yao pia inawajali kwa kweli wakenya wamewekeza sana Tanzania na kama nilivyosema kwa hotuba yangu ukiangalia takwimu ambazo tunazo zinaonesha kwamba wageni wengi ambao wanakuja Tanzania kutoka mataifa yote ya ulimwengu wengi zaidi wanatoka Kenya kwa hivyo la kwanza ni kwamba tunachangia uchumi huu maana yule mtu anakuja anatumia usafiri yule mtu analala kwenye hoteli saa zingine ama ataenda kwenye maduka atanunua na vitu fulani kwa hivyo anachangia uchumi wa nchi hii maana pia yeye analipa ile ambayo kwa kimombo tunaita indirect tax lakini zaidi ya hiyo kuna wengi ambao wanakuja kwa shughuli mahusus pengine e, tuseme ni wataalamu wa, wa mambo mbalimbali mbali. na wale pia wanasaidia kwa sababu katika kule kufanya kazi na watu na mtangamano ambao wanao na shughuli za kikazi wanafanya ile ambayo kwa kimombo tunasema skills transfer tunafanya kazi na wewe wewe unasoma hili kwangu mimi nasoma hili kwako na inakuwa kwamba tunaongeza ujuzi wetu kwa hivyo wakenya ni ni kikundi muhimu katika taifa la Tanzania kwa sababu ya uwekezaji ambao nimeutaja uwekezaji mkubwa ambao unazidi dola za kima, bilioni za kimarekani mbili na makampuni ambayo yanafanya kazi hapa Tanzania ya Kikenya ni zaidi ya makampuni tano na ajira waliozitoa inakaribia kuwa karibu laki moja ya kwa Tanzania kwa hivyo ule ni uwekezaji mkubwa ambao upo hapa na unazidi kutuimarisha sisi moja kama ndugu na pia sisi kama washirika katika jumuiya ya Afrika tunakuwa kwamba badala ya, 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 ya uwekezaji huu kwa unaenda nchi zingine ama unaenda sehemu nyingine kuna unazid, unaongeza mzunguko wa hela na kuchangia kipato cha nchi hapa hapa kwa nchi jirani Ambassador na wakenya wenzangu as a Kenyan diaspora in Tanzania you represent a wide demographic spectrum and continue to excel in the various sectors you work in. We know sometimes being away from home is challenging, but we are certain that Kenyans are resilient and very hardworking. And I want to implore you to come together and share experiences over offer guidance and provide mutual assistance and support to each other. I am aware that you have a strong diaspora association. Thus, I urge you to create investment circles that will help you to financially empower yourselves. By building these networks, you create a sense of belonging and solidarity that will help you to navigate the challenges of living abroad and thrive as individuals and also as a community. On that note, I wish to conclude by reiterating four things which 
Our PS implores Kenyan diaspora whenever she meets diasporans. He urges, she urges them to invest back home. She urges them to join in skills and technology transfer. Also to partner with the State Department by opening trade routes for Kenyans, Kenyan goods and services in, in their host countries. And engage and work with the government to find jobs for Kenyans abroad. Usahau kusubscribe, kukoment, kulike na kushare ili kuwa kwanza kupata habari mbali mbali kutoka Dart and Media.